Google has been doing some amazing stuff when it comes to AI, and today they quietly released another AI experimentation tool, which feels a little bit different. It's basically an AI-powered whiteboard for your brain, and they are calling it Mixboard. In this video, I'm gonna show you five game-changing ways this thing can help you with a lot of creative stuff, like plan your wardrobe, redesign your house, redesign your hair, or even launch a t-shirt business. So let's get right into it and you will see what I'm talking about. All right, so you can see that this is the announcement page here and you can actually try it yourself at labs.google slash mixport. And once you click on this, you will come to something like this, right? So you will click on get started and then it will log you on your uh, Gmail account. And then you can see that there are some existing uh, samples over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just click on new project and we will see something from scratch. So once you are inside it, you have the option of uploading your own image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take like few different use cases. So the first use case that I'm gonna take is use this as my personal stylist. So I'm gonna upload my own image here. So this particular picture, and you have the capability to zoom in and zoom out, so that's pretty cool. And then when you click on the picture, it already selects that. And I'm gonna write a prompt like this, right? So can you take a look at this image and create 10 modern outfit ideas for this person? I would like to have a mix of professional suit, casual sport jacket, leather jacket, and ultra modern looks, right? So I just want to see myself in all of these different avatars and basically select what kind of wardrobe looks the best for me. So as you can see, it is already starting to generate this. These are multiple images that it is generating at the same time. And you are already seeing that it has done a great job, right? So you have the capability to go zoom into each one of these. So you can see here, I'm into this. Here I'm wearing like a jacket. Here I'm wearing like a suit here. And these are really different kind of wardrobes, right? And this is the ultra modern style that, that I'd actually asked for. So it's pretty cool. And you can clearly see that this is the idea where instead of just like working with one specific image, you are able to work with all of these different images as well together, right? You have the capability to expand and, and look into this. So under the hood, they're using the nano banana model. And you can see the fascinating image output that we have got. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, select the, each one of these at the same time. And I'm going to say, based on the outfit, can you just change the background to perfectly match the man's attire? So I'm just giving one prompt so that it can work across all of these different images. And that is the beauty of this mix board, right? Which is working across multiple objects at the same time. And you can see that based on the type of clothing and attire that I have, it has generated like a really cool background. And then if I want to see each one of these, I can zoom in so you can see that this is like a pretty cool background because the you can see the clothing is very different. This is like really casual. So you can see I'm probably in a restaurant. This is a very interesting one as well. So I'm probably in a bar. And this is, this is me wearing a suit jacket. So probably almost like a very formal office. Really good stuff as an output, right? Now, let's say that I, I'm... I'm um, interested in seeing myself uh, in different kind of hairstyles. So what I can do is I can select again all of this and I can just ask, hey, can you switch the hairstyle so that it matches again the background, the attire that I'm wearing. So let's see what it comes back with. So it's pretty cool to, to play with this. But then the idea is, let's say that you're planning to go out and where you the kind of location that you're going. Based on that, it could generate and suggest what is the kind of stuff that you could wear. Pretty cool here. I don't think I've seen myself in, a, in an avatar like this, but it's pretty pretty fascinating to see see here, right? You can see the kind, kind of images that, that I have. And then you have the capability to download each one of these. The cool idea is, let's say that I want to only work on this particular image, and I can say that change the shoe to a white sneakers, and then probably it's going to work on that and just, just change the shoe to that specific one, right? So you can like work on individual images as well based on the output and then it's gonna it's gonna generate that. So you can see that it just quickly generated this. So what you can also do is you can do a copy so that you can save this, right? So that was like one, one idea. Now let's go ahead and create another project where I'm gonna upload a living room picture and I'm gonna ask it to switch it up, right? Let's say that I want to have, so this is currently the picture that I have. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna say that, okay, make this room minimalist and with a different type of furniture and then you can see the update that it will do right so the previous one was more around attire this one is more around really working with your like design of the house there you go so it was able to change this now let's duplicate this so that we can see the effect now let's say that i want to like add something more so let's say that i want to change this sofa to like a white velvet 
and then also change the light here so I can basically give that kind of command as well, right? So I already have the before and then based on the prompt and everything, I am also able to see the after. And that allows me to really brainstorm and look at all of these generations together. And that's the idea of Mixport, right? So you can keep creating these different images and really do a fantastic analysis. So there you go. You can see now I've added like a painting. I've added, changed the, the color of the sofa. So I can again duplicate this. And then now let's say that I want to change and add a bunch of plants here. Let's say that I'm going to do that. So I already have the initial version and I can change the size, etc. so that I can see everything together. And that's the idea of having a, like a whiteboard where you are able to brainstorm and do this creative designing process together. And now it's generating a new image based on the prompt that we had given. So now you suddenly have four different comparison options. There you go. It's pretty cool what it has generated, right? And you can like zoom in to this to see the idea and again you can download this and stuff like that so it's pretty cool so that's the second use case that i wanted to show the other thing which we can do is let's say that i want to generate like some cool ideas right so let's say that i want to generate cool retro style graphic t-shirt designs and this is where i'm not uploading any image and i'm just asking it to generate like a random design which i can brainstorm and think of like a t-shirt business right so you can see that it is generating multiple images and i can get this on individual t-shirts for example Let's say I like this, show this on a t-shirt. I click on this and then it's going to do that bit as well. There you go. So you can see that it has just added this particular piece on a t-shirt, which I wanted to visualize. So I can see if it makes sense or not. The last one is where it can really make a lot of our lives easier. Let's say we want to plan like a birthday party for a seven-year-old. So I can say that help me plan a birthday party for my seven-year-old. Show me all the things that I need to have in the party right so this gives you a broader perspective of the different kind of theme and decorations like the style of the cake and all of those things coming together and it's such a good start for you to visualize what you really want to do right so you can see that these are the kind of things that you will really want to have right so you have this you have a rainbow style this like a lot of interesting things that you could potentially forget but now looking at this it might be a little bit easier for your design right and then you can upload a bunch of images of your own and also visualize yourself in this and that makes that makes a life pretty easy right so there you have it from your personal style to your home decor to your next big business idea mixed board is a ridiculously powerful tool for bringing your imagination to life right now it's in a public beta in the us uh, through google apps so you can go and try it yourself but i really want to know what you think right what's the very first idea you're going to try in mixed board Drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. And if this video sparked some ideas for you, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the AI tools that are changing our world. Thanks for watching and go create something amazing. I will see you in the next one.